What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing an update on CEI ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might affect the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis uh, and what should you expect from the price action. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, somewhere at this point, uh, when the price section uh, was in between the level of 0.5 and 0.382. It is a Fibonacci retracement level from this uh, very bottom to this very top. And I've told you that we have more chances to go even lower and we have to hit at least uh, the golden pocket. And as you can see, for now, we are hovering right around the golden pocket. And it's quite technical, I have to say, because uh, usually we should uh, have at least some kind of reaction around this level. Statistically, it is the most probable level of trend reversal. And that is why I'm making this video for now, because I have basically two setups for you, one for the bull case and one for the bear case. And I will share it with you in just several minutes. But for now, let's continue with the fundamentals of this company. So let's start with the company profile. Camber Energy, an independent oil and natural gas company, engaged in the acquisition, development and sale of crude oil, natural gas and natural gas liquids in the Clean Shale and Upper Wolfbury Shale in Glasgow County, Texas. And uh, this company for now has a total market cap of uh, 406.79 million dollars. They have a revenue of $274,161. It's a very tiny revenue. They have a negative revenue growth of 39.35% with a negative net income of $5.94 million. They have a total cash position of only $1.11 million and they have negative net operating cash flows of $2.09 million. So, from the financial standpoint, this company is not the best one. Basically, its financials is really bad. And that's why I suggest you not to invest in this company for the long term because uh, this company eventually will go lower. And uh, the recent movement uh, to the upside is uh, just a hype around this company that was made by the retail community and the high short interest. And uh, that's why you have to stay aside from the investment in this company. But let me show you the latest sentiment. If you type uh, in Google CEI stock, uh, you have uh, a lot of news uh, and uh, the majority of these news, I have to say, almost all of them are quite bearish. And we have uh, the recent uh, investigation that is related to Camber Energy right after the Carisdale Capital's report. And uh, that's why we have uh, more bearish pressure on this stock, even from a legal standpoint. And let me show you that uh, we still have uh, this ticker among the most active list on the sixth place uh, on StockTweet's uh, website. And it has 6,855 uh, mentions. And we also have uh, this ticker on apewisdom.io, but uh, the position is uh, number 26 and it's down for about five rows. And it has only 50 mentions. It's increased only by 2%. Basically, <laughs> one mention was added during the last 24 hours. And it has only 51 upvotes. So this means this asset is losing its momentum. And I've told you in my previous video that we are most likely to go to the downside. So, and uh, let me show you that we have uh, recent uh, news, uh, for example, right here on uh, official Ortex Twitter, we have uh, this uh, tweet made on October the 8th, and it says, CEI short interest update. CEI made a SEC form 8K filing dated October the 6th, which detailed an increase uh, to the known shares outstanding of around 140%. Estimated short interest as a percentage of free float has therefore dropped significantly and is now 19.16% of free float. And I have to say that uh, this report, let me show it to you, was made on October the 6th and it says the increase uh, in our outstanding shares of common stock from the date of the company's February 23, 2021 increase in authorized shares of common stock from 25 million shares to 250 million shares is primarily due to conversions into common stock by an institutional investor of shares of Sirius C convertible preferred stock of the company that was sold uh, to the institutional investor in 2018 and or 2019. 
And I have to say that uh, this information is only a declaring this fact that on October the 6th they had uh, this number of shares, about 250 million shares. But the process of uh, this increase was initiated somewhere in past, from the February 23rd to October the 6th. It has more than 8 months to have this increase and that's why, in my opinion, it doesn't relate uh, to this movement and it doesn't relate to any movements right here. And for now, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as you can see, we hit uh, this level 0 0.618, 0 0.65 and as I already mentioned, we have uh, more chances to go higher from this point, at least to have a bounce. And that's why we have uh, the potential bullish setup. It's not so obvious that we might go to the upside, because uh, we have a lot of uh, bearish pressure on this uh, ticker and we have Carisdale report and we have uh, really poor financial numbers of this company. That's why it is just a technical setup and you have to be extremely cautious with this. So, if you want to enter your long position right here, uh, basically it is a rather good point and your stop loss might be slightly below this previous bottom. As you can see, we have uh, this bottom and this bottom are identical. And that's why from this point we might have uh, something like this. This is your potential entry point. This is your stop loss of about 4.17%. And the upside potential for this stock might be a bounce from this very top to this very bottom. And if I pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this top to this bottom, we have uh, certain levels. And the first level is at around uh, 0 0.236 right here, 0 0.236 Fibonacci retracement and it is only 13.19% and the risk to reward ratio is 3.17. It's decent but not the best and the uh, next potential level where we might hit uh, with the bounce to the upside if it occurs, it's 24.31% uh, of potential profits with the risk to reward ratio of 5.83. And we have also a bearish setup, let me show it to you. I don't need this one, let me turn it off. And the bear setup is like this. The same exactly entry point and the stop loss is slightly above this previous uh, swing high and it might be about 13.19% and the target price is previous swing high and it is right here at this very point. And uh, the risk to reward ratio is exactly 3 to 1 and uh, we have uh, more possibilities to go lower and this will be your setup. So these two setups are really risky and uh, if you don't know how to enter your short position or if you don't believe that this company will go higher from this point, just uh, stay aside from these trades. With that being said, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. See you guys and girls next time. Bye!